dear students welcome to the part 9 of multiple random variables chapter today we shall discuss about conditional joint probabilities you already studied about joint probabilities also conditional probabilities conditional probabilities are studied in the first module okay and joint probabilities are studied in the same module module 2 correct now how to apply the condition for joint probabilities if you have a condition b an event b which is a condition then conditional cdf for x and y it is given by this notation fxy of x comma y only fxy of x comma y is nothing but joint cdf given that b we include the condition here that is equal to probability of intersection of these events intersection is nothing but x less than or equal to x intersection y less than or equal to y intersection b okay these two are required for your condition uh, cdf without condition with the condition means we take intersection b divided by probability of the condition b this formula is similar to your p of a intersection b divided by p of b conditional probability formula this is similar now from this definition if conditional cdf is known how to find conditional pdf same formula we are differentiating conditional cdf once with respect to y and once with respect to x totally twice we are differentiating to get the conditional pdf and how will be the event b that condition b will be usually the values of x and y lying in some region this type of region that will be the event b okay now when two dimensional random variables are given out of them one variable may be a fixed value in such cases suppose we are given a specific well specific value for the random variable x okay x is fixed and y is the variable in that case their joint pdf will be conditional pdf now conditional joint pdf of y given that x value is equal to some x fixed value that is given by f suffix y of y given that x remember only f suffix y of y means it is marginal pdf of y correct f y of y but f y of y given that x means equivalently we use this notation for x value is fixed x equal to x so this is the condition now just like your condition b this is the condition so this conditional pdf is given by fxy of x comma y joint pdf divided by fx of x only for this that means marginal pdf so when you divide the joint pdf by the marginal pdf for a particular value of x it gives you the conditional pdf of y given that x similarly you can write the symmetric relation condition pdf of x given that y value it is given by joint pdf divided by marginal pdf of y so remember which is the condition position here condition is x so we write fx of x in the denominator here condition is y so we write fy of y in the denominator now using these conditional pdfs you can also find conditional cdfs how to find cdf from pdf you know cdf is given by integration from minus infinity to y fy of y given that x dy okay if you have confusion about the variable y actually we are integrating with respect to y and keeping the upper limit as y itself if you have any confusion you can change y to u and write equivalent formula fy of u given that x du similarly conditional cdf of x given that y is given by integration minus infinity to x conditional pdf of x given that y dx all ideas are similar to your pdfs and cdfs without condition only here one condition is extra okay you know this result already cdf is given by 
integration of PDF. Only we are including this condition. And how to find the conditional expectation? Okay, if you have a function of y, then what, how to find the expectation of g1 of y? It is integration minus infinity to infinity g1 of y into f y of y dy, correct? Same idea, here we use the condition. Expectation of g1 of y given that x equal to integration minus infinity to infinity g1 of y into f y of y given that x dy. Similar formula follows for g2 of x given that y. How to find the conditional mean, conditional variance and conditional characteristic function? Just recall the definition of mean of y. How to find mean of y? It is expectation of y minus infinity to infinity y into f y of y dy. Here mean of y given that x means in the pdf we include the condition y into f y of y given that x dy. Same idea follows here also. Variance of y given that x equal to it is expectation of y minus mu y given that x whole square into f y of y given that x. Correct? This is nothing but expectation of y minus mu y whole square. Correct? And equivalent formula, how to find sigma square y? It is expectation of y square minus expectation of y whole square. In that case, you can write equivalent formula here in terms of conditional PDFs. And characteristic function of y given that x is given by integration minus infinity to infinity f y of y given that x into e to the power j omega y dy. This is similar to your characteristic function formula which you studied in your first module. Only condition is extra here. Similarly, by symmetry you can interchange x and y positions. You can find the mean value of x given that y. In that case, x into fx, x given that y. Here y is fixed. x is the variable, y is fixed. Here also y is fixed, condition is fixed, x is the variable. So write equivalent formula. And if x and y are independent, in that case, your joint PDF will be equal to product of individual PDFs. And one more condition is, your condition is not important. f y of y given that x will be same as f y of y. And f x of x given that y will be same as f x of x. So remember these conditions, all the formula are similar, only one extra condition we are adding with the extra condition we are including with the every PDF or CDF. Now we will work out some problems. In the following figure, a region in the xy plane is shown where the bivariate PDF fxy of x, y equal to c. Elsewhere, the PDF is 0. So, function value, joint PDF value is given, bivariate PDF is given as a C. But C is unknown. Okay. And where it is C, this function is C only in this region. A triangular region is given. A triangle is given. The vertices of this triangle are minus 2, comma 2, 2, comma 2 and here minus 2, comma minus 2 and it passes through origin here. You can see from the figure it is clear. It passes through origin. Here, one side of the triangle passes through origin. Now, what is the question? What value must C have? Evaluate CDF, fxy of 1, 1. Third question, find the PDFs of fx of x and fy of y. That means marginal PDFs. Are x and y independent? Okay. Actually, till here, the question numbers A, B, C and D, these are from your first part of this module. Okay. Only this part is coming under your conditional PDF. Question number E and question number F. Okay. So, till here, the same question is asked in your model question paper. It is first part of your module 2. How to find the value of the constant c, how to find the cdf, how to find the marginal pdf. Okay. So anyway, 
I will solve this problem now. Try to understand the solution. And your fifth question is PDF of y conditioned by x equal to 1. Condition is x equal to 1. Find the mean and variance of y conditioned by x equal to 1. Now start from the given region. What is the given region? It is a triangular region as given in the figure. And bivariate PDF is given as C. How to find C now? Use the property of bivariate PDF. Actually there are two properties for bivariate PDF. Which is the first property? Fxy of x, y will be always greater than or equal to 0. Okay, it is non-negative. And second property, integration from minus infinity to infinity, integration from minus infinity to infinity, double integration, Fxy of x, y, dx, dy will be equal to 1. Now, first condition only gives you the idea about the c value. c will be always greater than or equal to 0. But actually we use the second condition to find the value of c. So you get use this condition that means this integration means it is nothing but double integral over your triangular region r which is given in your figure this region r fxy of x, y dx dy and what is fxy of x, y in that region it is c. So I have substituted c here. Now you decide whether you are first integrating with respect to y or first with integrating with respect to x. If you want to integrate first with respect to y, then in this region, in the triangular region, you have to select the limits for y. But remember, limits for y are not minus 2 to 2 because it, if it is a rectangular region, then limits are constants. But triangular region, so lower limit, you have to consider a vertical strip here. Re recall the method of your double integration. Consider a vertical strip here. Lower end point of the vertical strip lies on the straight line. Correct? So your y value depends on the equation of this straight line. And here upper end point of your vertical strip. If you take a vertical strip like this. It lies on this straight line. And here it is fixed. For this straight line y is y coordinate is fixed. Which is 2. Okay, But here what is the y value? You just observe the equation of this uh, line how to decide the equation of the line just observe your x and y coordinates 2 and 2 here minus 2 and minus 2 whether x and y coordinates are same x and y are equal yes here also yes so this straight line is actually y equal to x even otherwise you know always equation of a straight line passing through origin which is at 45 degrees to your x axis that line is nothing but y equal to x a third method if you don't have any ideas of this then third method if you have any two points joining two points you can always find a straight line equation of the straight line so take one point as x1 comma y1 other point as x2 comma y2 in that case also you have the equation of the straight line y2 minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1. That is the formula. And what is your m here? Slope. Again it is given by y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Just remember your analytical geometry which you have studied. Anyway here it is clear from the equation it is y equal to x. y and x coordinates are equal. So using that idea your lower end point is on the straight line y equal to x. So y value is x here. And upper end point is on the line y equal to 2. So limits for y are x to 2. So we are first integrating with respect to y now. Inner integration. Then outer integral. For that once if you take a strip like this. You are sliding that strip to cover this region. So from which x value to which x value. You have to slide. Outer limits will be always constants for any double integral. So here minus 2 to 2 x value. So, I am writing the x values here. Minus 2 to 2. Once if you decide the limits, you know the integration. Very simple integration. C into integration of dy is y. Apply the limits x to 2. So, you get C into 2 minus x. Now, integrate with respect to x. From minus 2 to 2. Apply the limits. 2 into x minus x square by 2 you get. 
and it is equal to 1. That means when you simplify this, you get 8c. Check it. 8c equal to 1. That means c equal to 1 by 8. Okay, so you got the answer for the first question, c value. Now, what is the second question? Evaluate CDF, cumulative density function, fxy of 1, 1. So, start from the definition of x, fxy of x, y. What is fxy of x, y? When PDF is given to you, how to find CDF? We use integration from minus infinity to x and minus infinity to y, fxy d of x, y dx dy. Okay, so you are integrating with respect to x and upper limit we keep same. Then integrate with respect to y and upper limit we keep y. Okay, if you have confusion here, you can write fxy of u, v du dv. Okay, now substitute. What is your x and y values here? 1, 1. That means here equal to sign is missing. Write equal to. That this is equal to minus infinity to 1, minus infinity to 1, fxy of x, y, dx, dy. But your y value is not starting from minus infinity or x value is not starting from minus infinity. See the region. So in that triangular region, which are the limits for y and x? Once again, take a vertical shape. Your y value varies from x to 1, correct? Lower limit y. Upper limit is 1, fixed. Okay, for lower end point of your strip, y varies from x to 1. Then, lower le, lowermost value of x value, that means least value of x you can say, which is minus 2. So, we cannot consider minus infinity now, we take minus 2. And here, you can take only x. See the figure? So, we are not starting from minus infinity to 1. We are starting from here, from this straight line to 1. So, from this straight line to 1, y value. Correct? So, from this straight line means y equal to x and till 1. So, x to 1. x to 1. And outer limits we take constants. Minus 2 to 1. Integrate. Once if you decide the limits, you know how to integrate. I will not explain much. You will get 9 by 16. Just verify the steps yourself by evaluating this. Okay, now third question, find the PDFs, Fx of X and Fy of Y, marginal PDFs. How to find the marginal PDF? You have the formula. To find the marginal PDF of X, we integrate joint PDF with respect to the other variable. If X is required here, other variable is Y. And which are the limits for Y? It is X to 2 in that region. See, take a vertical strip and check in that region, x to 2. You integrate, you get a function of x. fx of x will be a function of x. And where x varies from minus 2 to 2. Same idea we use for fy of y. fy of y is integration from minus infinity to infinity. Integration of your joint PDF with respect to the other variable. Other variable is x here. Required function is function of y. We integrate with respect to the other variable, x. Now, when you integrate with respect to x, you need to consider a horizontal shape. Like this, from here to here. So, take a horizontal shape from here to here. Here, what is x value? It is fixed, minus 2, correct? No changes. But here, what is x value? So for that, you need the equation of this straight line. What is the equation of the straight line? y equal to x. So, x will be equal to y. So, write x in terms of y. Here x is minus 2. Here x equal to y. So, apply that limits minus 2 to y. Now, you know integration, integrate and get the answer. So, for this answer, y varies from minus 2 to 2. You get fy of y as a function of y now. Limits are minus 2 to 2. Fourth question, D, whether x and y are independent, that is the question. If x and y are independent, then your joint PDF should be equal to product of independent individual PDFs, correct? Verify. 
first start with the product. What is fx of x into fy of y? Just now you obtained fx of x is 1 by 8 into 2 minus x. And this is fy of y. Multiply this. Clearly, no chance to get 1 by 8, correct? Multiply and check it. 2 minus x into y plus 2. Even when you multiply, you get x and y terms. No chance of getting 1 by 8. But fxy of x comma y is 1 by 8. Joint PDF. So clearly, this is not equal to this product. They are not independent. Now, till here it is actually your previous portion. Now here we are using the conditional PDF with the same question. The PDF of y conditioned by x equal to x is given by fy of y given that x equal to x equal to fxy of x comma y divided by the condition fx of x. Substitute you have PDF and a joint PDF and individual PDF directly sub substitute. You get 1 by 2 minus x which is from minus 2 to 2. Now what is the question? E question PDF of y conditioned by x equal to 1. Here we obtained PDF of y conditioned by x equal to x. Correct? How to get PDF of y conditioned by x equal to 1? Just put x equal to 1 in your answer. You get 1 by 2 minus x. 1 by 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1. Mean. Conditioned mean of y given that x. You have the formula. Minus infinity to infinity y into fy of y given that x dy. And what is the limit for this? For when you are integrating with respect to y. Limits for y are x to 2. Take a vertical strip and check it. Apply the function value. What is fy of y by x? y given that x? It is 1 by 2 minus x. Substitute here. But anyway, you are integrating with respect to y. So this 1 by 2 minus x can be taken out. y integration is y square by 2. Apply the limits. x to 2. You get this answer. This is general answer. When particular x equal to 1, you get 3 by 2. Substitute x value and check it. Similarly, expectation of y square given that x formula is integration from minus infinity to infinity. You can write similar formula if you want. y square into fy of y given that x. Okay, I have directly substituted. When you apply the limits, you get x to 2 y square into fy of y given that x dy. And fy of y given that x is, I have directly substituted here 1. You can also take 1 by 2 minus x and then evaluate. Anyway, it is a constant. It does not contain y term. Okay, it, it is a constant just like this 2 minus x. You can take outside and then verify. I have directly substituted. And this integration is y cube by 3. x to 2. Apply the limits. You get this. So, in this, take x equal to 1 now. Expectation of y square given that x equal to 1. This is for any x. And this is for particular x. Put x equal to 1 here. You get 7 by 3. Now you know the formula for variance of y. Variance of y given that x equal to 1 is nothing but expectation of y square given that x equal to 1 minus expectation of y whole square with the condition. Substitute both. 7 by 3 minus 3 by 2. What is your expectation of y? 3 by 2. Yes. 3 by 2 whole square, which gives you 1 by 12. Okay. So, some, sometimes they may ask you only one or two sub-questions from here. I worked out one single problem with many possible questions. Okay. They may ask you only one or two questions or only conditional. But only conditional means also you need PDFs of individual variables. Okay. A very good question. For your practice, I am just giving you one or two questions, same method, no change, only your region is different here, slight different. Once again you get, they have given a triangular region, but when you take a vertical strip here, which is the equation of this straight line, it is passing through origin, but it is not making 45 degree with your x axis, your previous Straight line was passing through origin and with 45 degree inclination. So it was y equal to x. But here 
just observe your y and x coordinates x is minus 2 y is 2 x is 2 y is minus 2 that means y will be negative of x correct verify otherwise using the equation of straight line passing through two points you can always obtain any equation so use any procedure just by checking the coordinates you can decide this is nothing but y equal to minus x and one more hint to you y equal to plus x and y equal to minus x are always two straight lines which are perpendicular to each other remember because when you find their slopes product of their slopes m1 into m2 will be always equal to minus 1 so y equal to x is a straight line like this y equal to minus x will be like this so if you take a vertical shape then y varies from minus x to 2 and x varies from minus 2 to 2 okay now it is similar to your previous problem only this hint i wanted to give you when you take a vertical shape y varies from minus x to 2 and if you take a horizontal shape uh, for example while while finding the f y fx fx of x right when you are integrating with respect to x so f y of y in that case you need to write the limits for x in that case x varies from here to here here x is equal to minus y y equal to minus x means x will be minus y and here x equal to 2 so minus y to 2 so these two points if you remember you can answer this it is similar to your previous problem try this yourself answers are also given just verify one more practice problem i am giving you once again triangular region okay but slight different type of region once again triangular region here if you take your which again this line is y equal to x correct it passes through origin and angle between this line and x axis is 45 degree so this is y equal to x so check this when you take a vertical strip here y varies from minus 2 to x lower limit to upper limit minus 2 to x remember when you take limits for y or if you take limits for x first then x varies from y to 2 here x equal to y y equal to x so x equal to y to 2 so this point if you understand remaining you can do yourself because it is similar to your previous problem all questions are similar and condition is also same given x equal to 1 so just try for your practice it is a very good question practice okay thank you i am stopping here in the next session i will continue with some special distributions okay thank you